Understanding Kids These Days, A Look Into Generational Perspectives. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our language learning journey. Today, we're going to unravel the meaning and usage of a common English phrase, kids these days. This phrase is more than just words. It reflects attitudes, perceptions, and sometimes, misunderstandings between generations. Let's dive in and understand what it really means and how you can use it in your daily conversations. The phrase, kids these days, is often used by an older generation to refer to the younger generation's behavior, lifestyle, or attitudes, usually in a disapproving or bewildered manner. It's not just about age, though. It's more about the gap in understanding or acceptance between the older and the younger generations. When someone says, kids these days, they're often pointing out how things have changed from their own youth and expressing a sense of nostalgia or disconnection from current trends or behaviors. Casual versus formal settings. In casual settings, Kids these days can be used lightheartedly to tease or jest about the differences in generational preferences. For instance, when talking about technology or fashion trends. However, in more formal or serious discussions, it might come off as a critique or a lament about the younger generation's values or habits. Tone and body language. The tone and body language accompanying the phrase can also change its meaning significantly. A smile or a laugh can indicate that the speaker is being playful or affectionate. In contrast, a stern look or a wagging finger might suggest genuine disapproval or concern. Let's look at some examples to understand how kids these days can be used in different contexts. 1. Positive tone. 2. Kids these days are so tech savvy. They handle gadgets better than we ever did. 3. Negative tone. 4. Kids these days just don't respect traditional values anymore. 5. Neutral or reflective. 6. Kids these days have different challenges and opportunities. The world has changed so much since we were young. Remember, the phrase can be modified to fit different subjects, like parents these days, teachers these days, etc., reflecting the speaker's perspective on changing times and behaviors. It's important to note that kids these days isn't just an English phrase. Many cultures and languages have their own versions. This concept of generational difference is universal. However, the specific issues or behaviors that are commented on can vary greatly depending on cultural norms, historical context, and current societal trends. And that wraps up our exploration of the phrase, kids these days. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about context, tone, and the stories we tell about our world. We hope you found this video helpful and that it gave you insight into not just the phrase but also the intricate dance of generational perspectives. Keep learning, keep exploring, and until next time, happy language learning!